Groups like Rotary uh, don't get involved in political parties, they don't take positions on local issues, uh, they sometimes do uh, community uh, information sessions, but they generally don't take sides. Um, in, uh, International Committee of the Red Cross calls themselves uh, um, impartial. And in their sense, that means we serve all without discrimination. So those are very important uh, um, distinctions, but in effect, what it means is you don't get yourself aligned uh, in any one place. It's, it's pragmatic because you're safer if you're not a target. But it also means if you're protecting civilians and you've taken one of the Arab Party's side, then the civilians you are protecting become targets of the opponents. People who have long-standing enmities toward each other simply will not sit down together unless they can be assured that they're safe. I really expect the United Nations to be nonpartisan. When the United Nations went into Syria saying Assad has to go, uh, they've already tipped their hand and they have a position and a goal. When we go into a country, we never take a side uh, of either of the armed parties or sometimes there are multiple armed parties. We never take a side for or against or make value judgments or make demonizing comments about them. If they're killing people, it's, it's really all the same. Um, it's, it's a practice that we don't like. We want to encourage people to sit down and talk about the problems uh, and solve things in whatever way makes sense for them. So one of the, the concerns about being nonpartisan, it makes it sound like you don't stand for anything. It's just whatever happens. But that's not the case. Most organizations that are nonpartisan also have some missions, some things they stand for. And we stand for peace, reduction of violence, solving problems, and protecting human rights. So yes, those are things we stand for. Our goal is keep the violence down, protect civilians, give them safe spaces to, to do the decision making they need to make. And in effect, we're elevating the civilians by protecting them in helping them have the role that they rightfully should have. So yes, indeed, we do stand for some things, uh, among which is civilians should be safe even when there's war going on.